get this a lot, but is there any way I could get your number? Uh, I'm sorry. It's going to be enough for me. Why? Just I just started curiosity. dating this girl. Uh, it's getting pretty serious. I don't mean any offense uh, by it. It's just that it's getting serious. I don't want to, like, mess with that at all, so. She doesn't have to know, necessarily, you know? Um, could unfortunately, now you said that, she kind of does. Get your number, and you can, you know, change my contact name, and, you know, it could be totally fine, <laughs> it's you know? A funny thought. You, have... <laughs> I, I, I've, you know look, the drill. You know the drill. Yeah, no, I, it's cool. I get that. I'm just, like, it's not really my thing. Um. She's been great to me. I'm going to be great back to her. It's just where I'm at right now. So, again, I appreciate it. Don't mean any offense by it, but I'm going to kind of go. Well, I'm kind of, kind of taking offense by it. I mean, normally when I ask guys for their numbers, they give it to me. So I'm just, like, a little confused by I, that. You again, know? it's like nothing It's nothing that you're doing. You're doing fine. It's just that I have a girlfriend. And, again, like, I, I completely get that. But, like, you're, I... You're, being kind of an asshole, actually, so... Yeah. I'm not I'm, being an asshole. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you how it is. Don't do you think I'm not effect, pretty but... or something? What? Do you think I'm not pretty? Or, like... No, I... Because that's usually not a problem. Listen, you're kind of twisting my arm here. I'm, I'm not... Again, I'm not getting into this conversation. I'm just telling you that, like, no. And that's it. So I'm sorry you're making me kind of uncomfortable. I'm kind of going to get out of here. Whatever. Um, just done. Never mind, actually. Never mind. Please. Please don't give me your number, actually. All right, well. So in today's society, as a woman, you can't understand that this guy has a girlfriend. He think it's getting serious, and you still like you want to interrupt that situation that they got going on, and you want to feel some type of way because he rejected your offer of getting your number or even try to get to know you. Like, make it make sense, you know? What I mean, in today's society, you would think it'd be the other way around that. You should understand because most guys would even doesn't matter if the girl got a boyfriend or not the guy will still try to holler at him but in this situation you understand that it's on the other foot that this guy okay he has a girlfriend so it's like okay i'm not going to interrupt that i'm not going to intrude but you feel some type of way because he feel this way about you trying to get his number he's being he's been a gentleman you know there are some guys that can be real rude and real nasty towards people so you have a guy who's being very respectful and telling you in a nice way that, hey, man, you know, I got a girlfriend. I don't want to get your number. I understand you want to holler at me or whatever, but no, I got a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Have a good day. But soon as she can't take a hint, then what she do? She get upset, you know, fear some type of way. You know, thinking a guy's a douchebag or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just because he has a girlfriend and he think it's getting serious and he don't want to get her number. Like, come on, man. Like, it's crazy homeboy right don't have the homeboy anymore we're not friends like that or whatever but i ended up marrying his baby mama you went home baby mama. that's why y'all ain't friends uh, what matters is you did it the right way uh, because you didn't smut her out you married her and I, that's like if, if you that's lose the right a, way absolutely can if I, you lose a friend any other way right. you married her you found right. the love but of your I, but life I, you, that you, you got i didn't i didn't lose out. him for okay, that we say, wasn't friends like, oh so oh that. so y'all so fell out before that right and you was like let me take your but it, no, it, hold on. Let me ask you one. Was you scoping her when they was together? That's the thing. Um, no, no. They weren't together when I was around. I, I left the city and everything. They ended up, like, getting together, having a child, and all that type of stuff. They broke up. After they broke up. So you the uncle and the stepdaddy? Uncle daddy. Is, uncle uncle daddy. daddy is crazy. That leads me to think that, that there was something going on prior. Right, so we just we break up and we not we not friends anymore. And now y'all are in a full fledged relationship. Now you're marrying her. You know I got a I got a kid with her and everything. So was you really down? Was you really loyal with with the friendship? Now you do not play father to your homie's child unless he go to jail or he in a box. I, I'm not even going to play daddy to my to my homie son, let alone actually put myself in position to be their step daddy while he's still alive. So, like, was he telling you, like, hey, this you got to try it? Like, wow. So, you my homeboy, me and my girl broke up, and you going to marry my girlfriend? What? Like, I don't get it. You know, it's like, how can you, I couldn't even fathom up doing something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand you trying to be a, a father figure to my son. If I wasn't, God forbid, if I wasn't alive, I can understand that. But you 
dating and marrying my ex-girlfriend like we homeboys you know what i'm saying it's, it's bros before hoes you know what i'm saying <laughs> but in actuality like that's crazy you know i wouldn't even fathom of, of, of doing something like that you know what i'm saying my homeboy marrying my girl my ex-girlfriend yeah you know he calling you daddy you know like come on man that that's crazy yo this whole situation is crazy i wish the girl would have been in there and she would have really um say more about the situation because i don't care what the situation to be honest with you that's still messed up you know that that's not in the right way it doesn't matter if he married her or not like doesn't matter like that's that's his homeboy ex-girlfriend you don't you don't stop that boundaries you know what i'm saying we have a code you know what i'm saying just like women women have a code too you don't mess with the, your, your boy girl you know what I'm saying? Off of limits. Now, some other chick that he ain't really care about. But yeah, I understand that. But in that situation right there, yeah, that's crazy. So I guess um, he's a celebrity gospel singer or something like that. I don't know. Um, I didn't play the sign because I didn't want to get copyrighted. But um, it's like a, I don't know if they're Jamaican or you know some other country or whatever. But yeah, um, if my wife ever do something like that right there, get on her knees for any singer. I don't care who it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's she like she kind of ignoring her husband to to this guy here like that whole situation is crazy embarrassing like you can tell the guy on his face you can tell the facial expressions man and i know people in the, in the, um in there looking like what is going on here like what i mean i can understand she decided i i, I totally understand that because that might be her favorite singer or whatever but ain't no way my wife gonna get on her knees in front of another man and do that in front of me especially we just got married like we just got married so I could imagine the, the talk they had after everything was all settled and done. I, I can imagine the talk they had because in that situation right there, I, I don't know. Like, I couldn't even, I'm not saying divorce her. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say be too upset, but I would really have to really think and understand, like, what got into you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that's your favorite thing, but no. That's total disrespect for me. That's, that's total disrespect. Like, come on. You on your knees in front of a guy, like, in front of his balls you know what i'm saying like come on yo crazy but yeah y'all like this video tell me what y'all think like and subscribe